Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys I'm going to be showing you guys how to build some stone arch bridges or uh, cobblestone arch bridges or whichever type of stone or cobblestone you want to use for them, brick bridge, whatever. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. I'm on my season 3 world here. Uh, this is where we did our horse stable right off to the side there. Um, here's my little automated wheat farm and also some reeds. Um, right here is the horse stable, which I've now completed, and we got a fountain in the center, we got horses all the way around here, and this new design is absolutely awesome for the horse stable. So if you guys uh, watched my uh, video on the fishing hunt, this is the style that we're using. So uh, the these I'm going to show you guys how to build these stone arch or cobblestone arch bridges in my creative world. The reason I use an actual bridge over the water is because that way you can still ride your horse underneath it or you can actually take a boat underneath it too. So as you guys can see, we can now fit right underneath the uh, arch bridge. So you could just put a bridge directly over the water but you know what's the fun of that you gotta have a really cool bridge right so um right here is the uh, new fishing hut that i've done um it is a four-sided one so we have the horse stable right on one side and we also have the main central hub we have a fishing dock right off here this is a pretty good lake for catching all kinds of stuff on this side i actually have um a boat dock so if you're riding the boat from over that way you can just pull right in here and uh, park the boat you can fish on the other side this is just kind of like a hangout area and then upstairs I have completely finished off the second floor and put a sunken bed in the floor and that sort of thing it's pretty cool but let's swing over to my creative world and I will show you guys how to build one of these cobblestone or stone arch bridges hang tight folks we will be back in a hey moment. guys we are back and this is um, this one is only too wide right here so this is the one that I gave you guys a sneak peek of when I was doing my seat I believe it was a seed video that I did um, this one's only two wide but the one that we're gonna be building is actually gonna be three wide so I'm gonna show you guys how to make that I've kind of laid it out right here I want to have a little connection area going from that area over to this area so it's uh, pretty simple to make all you got to do is you lay down a stone block or a cobblestone block whichever you'd like um, one kind of stair um, you could, like I said, you could have this as wide or as narrow as you'd like, but I'm just doing it uh, with three stairs in there. I'm doing an oak, a, a birch, and then another oak, and then finishing it off with another uh, st with another cobblestone or stone block, basically. Now, uh, the, the other side of this is you put it right on the edge of the water, just like so, and then you kind of go underneath, and then you look up and you place a, a brick stair or whatever kind of stair you want to use on the back uh, on an upside down stair right there um, just like so and that'll give you give you the start of the arch now to um, go on top of that we simply just throw it up another stair another stair stair here and another stair right here basically what this is gonna do is this has given us now our room to create our bridge and then from here we will add another upside down another set of upside down uh, stairs just like this so it's kind of doing like our bridge little area hopefully you guys could see that and to start it out just simply looks like this so you have stair upside down stair stair upside down stair and then on this top one you just simply use some um, use some brick slabs and that'll give get you across the way so if you just throw down like the because the, the brick slabs are like the bottom part of it right so this is going to be the the view that actually shows from the uh, bottom side of it and I, um, so uh, I just want to show you guys how this looks and you can just kind of go back a little bit place down a couple of more and a couple of more and this should be pretty close to this other edge that we're gonna do so then to go with this one we'll do the exact same thing we throw down a block throw down some stairs and throw down another block on the outside of it do the upside down um, the upside down brick brick stairs right on top of the, those wood stairs just like this and we will th then throw down another set of stairs and uh, yes my building styles definitely kind of jumping all over so I apologize guys this is 
This is just the uh, the way that I like to build. It's the way that I've been building for pretty much <laughs> ever since I started playing Minecraft, which has been quite some time. From the bottom, let's use our upside down stairs here. And I think I'm going to have to replace this one right there because it seemed like it was a little short. And yep, I did end up getting one of these here. So let's take that away. There we go. That should be good. Please be good. Okay. So that looks, that looks like it should look. Yeah, we got the upside down stair, upside down stair, the regular stairs, just like so. And then on top of that brick, you're basically just going to lay down some more half slabs. Now, the reason you use the half slabs is because that way mobs are not going to be able to spawn up here. So I'm going to need some birch slabs, which I can get rid of this because I don't need the bricks. And we'll throw down another line of those and another line of these and it just gives it a little little more um little more look to it i suppose would be the uh, right word for it and then basically to finish this thing off as you guys can see we have this little overhang now now you just take your cobblestone or your stone bricks and look at that they line up just perfect which gives us a little bit of a railing on the side just like so which uh, definitely is comes in comes in quite handy when you uh, <laughs> when you're trying to work on these things. So it's it gives it a nice little railing, and then because they are solid blocks, you could either you could simply put some fence posts on here. Um, let's let's try that. Let's bring down I think my gates, not the gates, but the we could do we could do cobblestone walls if we wanted to. We could use um, regular fence, which I think is under de decoration. Yeah, we could use regular fence here. So if you really wanted to, you could actually throw up like some sort of wall if you really wanted to, right? So you could have that look or you could use your um, actual wood, wood, uh, wood gates or not gates, but uh, wood fence just like this. So you could do that if you really wanted to. You don't have to, but uh, it's it's totally your call. It's open because it is some solid blocks on here. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm just throwing down some torches on these. So I just throw down like a torch there, torch there, skip every couple ones or skip one at a time or something like that. And boom, that's it. That's all that's to it. Then to finish it off, you can just throw the, um, the other cobblestone or stone stone blocks on the other side so it makes it really simple to do very simple to do you can just cruise onto the outside here so it's a very very simple type of bridge but it gives it a really cool look so if, now if you look at it from the side you can kind of see the br the bricks um, underneath that gives it a nice dimensional type of feel you have rails on the side where you where it's going to be uh, quite cool and not have to worry about walking off the edge and that sort of thing. So, guys, that's about it. That's pretty much all that's to build in this little stone arch bridge or cobblestone arch bridge, whichever way you guys would like to call it. But, guys, I think I'm going to call the video good. This is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.